the topic of the week is starting a Warhammer YouTube channel. As always, I will link Vince Venturella's original video uh, onto this video. And if you click on that link and go watch uh, his video, there will be a number of other responses um, that uh, really provide some great uh, information in addition to, to uh, this video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it takes to make a successful YouTube channel. Uh, Warhammer YouTube channel specifically and this will be fairly general advice so it won't involve anything too you know if you want to make a specific content about battle reports or something that that's not really contained in this one but let me preface the discussion by simply stating that my channel is still relatively new and growing and so when I, when I say uh, qualify my success based upon uh, the, the channel, I would say I'm qualifying that based upon the enjoyment I've received rather than strictly the current number of subscribers. So I would say, even though I'm still relatively small, it's been a lot of fun and I think it's been largely successful uh, simply because it's, it's enjoyable to me. So like any hobby, um, making a YouTube channel does require a minimum investment of time you can spend money on equipment and software, but the first expense will always be your time and energy. Uh, I'm sure you might only have a limited amount of time when you can or, or even want to do hobby related activities and making videos will take a little bit away from that. I mean, for me, it's always a balance because right now I really want to be painting models, but I also do enjoy making content and I do want to produce content regularly. So, you know, I, I need to kind of understand that I'm not going to be painting as much as perhaps I would like if I want to make videos. Uh, but don't let that intimidate you. Um, making content is a lot of fun. Uh, I've found it to be very rewarding. In the end, just do it. Uh, that seems to be the mantra of the community as of late. Uh, but don't do it to make money, because you won't. Um, it's a very welcoming community. Um, if you make the effort, uh, you will be welcomed. So I think in general, producing content enriches and grows the community. And if you decide to make content, your participation will, I'm sure, inspire others to also share the hobby. I can point to a number of channels that really inspired me to start making content. And even my own humble channel has encouraged a few others to also make their own content as well. So there are two aspects that uh, I will discuss. And one is, interacting with, with, with other content producers and viewers, and the other is the technical side. Both are very important, but I would lean more on the side of interaction with other human beings as the best way to be successful. So the first topic up is on the social side is confidence, charisma, and gravitas. Now, I think it's important, but a lot of it will come from just being comfortable with what you're doing, and that just takes time. Um, I, I think it's important to have some sort of personal appeal, but just be genuine for the most part, and people people will enjoy what you're doing. Um, I would say don't take yourself too seriously. Um, I laugh at myself constantly. Um, you know, I, I, I have no no aspirations that my content I'm producing is like brilliant work or something like that. And um, I think the, the, the confidence is something that you just gain from doing it. Um, I think when you look back at the first videos on any channel, they're, they're, they're somewhat laughable. I mean, I look back at my own and it's, it's like ridiculous. Um, and like, but like even like a week after that, I was already a little bit in the groove. It just takes a bit of time. I would say be willing to be content. Um, it's always nice. Everyone aspires to, to be one of the, you know, the, the biggest uh, YouTube channels in the Warhammer community. I, I think that that's what we're all kind of aiming for to some extent, but we're not all going to make it. Um, it's just, you know, probably not going to be the case. Um, and like I said, I'm having fun uh, with what I'm doing right now. So do, do I want to grow the channel? Absolutely. If I don't or it doesn't grow much bigger, I'm fine. I'm really I'm enjoying the the interactions I'm having right now and, and producing the content as it is. 
uh, take the opportunities whenever you can. Um, if you're invited to participate in another channel, do it. Uh, I have a speech impediment. Um, I don't like doing live stuff. It really makes me really nervous. But, you know, I was invited on Warhammer Weekly and on War Games, and I just did it. Um, did, did, did I do amazing? Not really, but that's fine. You know, it, it takes a little bit of, of, like, making content for me is definitely not what most people would think that know me personally. Um, so it is a bit unusual that I do this. It is definitely outside my comfort zone, um, but just just do it. Um, it you know once you start doing it, you, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So I would say the best way to grow your channel is to promote your channel by building bridges, and that is to kind of network with the other content producers, get to know them. Uh, by knowing others and uh, you know putting your content online so that you can watch each other's, you you'll build up your online presence. If you look for Google Plus groups or Facebook groups, investigate and join as many as you can. Uh, look for platforms like that, and you can post your videos into those networks. Um, I myself only really started working on Twitter, uh, but I'm already pretty happy with with what with what I've been able to achieve in just a couple weeks. Uh, if you share your content, it will only really help, right? So, you know, admittedly, I don't get a whole lot of views from like the Google Plus pages or something like that. Most of the views are just from regular YouTube searches or from people who are already uh, know of me and already watch my videos. But I still think it's important to constantly be out there in the community and, and, and make a very... Um, a, a, a visual stance. So if you decide to do this, you're going to make friends. And I find that very cool. And you're going to make international friends. And I think that's amazing. Um, so to be successful, you need to be able to promote and help the community as a whole. But you'll benefit from doing that as well. You'll bounce ideas off each other and you're going to learn from each other. So I would also say watch other people's videos. It might seem pretty basic, but it's actually really important. Again, this is part of that to create connections between you and other content producers, right? I spend probably two or three hours a night watching YouTube. And I think if you just produce content, but you're not actively involved with other people's channels, that might hurt you kind of in the long run. So part of that is to subscribe. And if you sub to other smaller channels, uh, not only uh, will you get to watch great content and support your your friends and potential friends, but frequently they will do the exact same thing back to you. And so I, and that's been something I experienced. It's great. Always look to kind of build up how many videos you can watch. Plus it provides you with a lot of practical experience, right? The more videos you're able to watch of not just the exact same content over and over, it will really help you. I would suggest when you watch those videos to make comments. Again, do so very regularly. Um, I, as a rule, comment on any video that I watch and I enjoy. It doesn't need to be super in depth. Just saying, you know, uh, that was an awesome vid or a great job, whatever it is, encourages the other content producer. The, the you'll get replies back, and again, it's f much more likely that they will watch your videos in return. Um, I think that it just shows that. It degree of respect among the community. So if you get a lot of views, great. If you get a lot of likes, fantastic. But the best is hearing from viewers, right? So commenting on your own, on having comments made on your own videos is really a great way to, to, to um, increase the, your YouTube channel. I, I, I don't know quite how the YouTube, um, how, how it, how it prioritizes videos in a search feed, but I think comments and the amount of comments uh, d do certainly help. And again, it will it will it will build those bridges be between the community. Um, and also, therefore, reply to comments and do so regularly. You know, for the largest channels that get a few hundred comments, yeah, that's probably not going to be too, too much fun to reply to every single one. But, you know, I probably only get, you know, maybe 10 or 12 comments uh, from individuals. So 
at most. Um, so it's pretty easy for me to do it and uh, I, I enjoy interacting with everyone that views the video. Um, the vast majority of comments that you will see will probably be positive. Um, you don't need to reply to the ones that are negative. Um, but if you reply to your viewers, it encourages them to continue to watch and they'll come back. And you know, I would say that at this point, I'm a still small, um, a small uh, channel. Most of the video or comments that I get on my uh, on my videos are from other content producers. So I think that's a result of my efforts uh, 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 in building bridges. So, yeah, next next topic. So, I personally believe it's important to stay positive. Uh, both in terms of you know your your expectations and and the content that you produce and your attitude towards topics it's easy to kind of go negative uh, I personally prefer um, uh, content which is uh, more uplifting and positive and um, those are the types of, of videos that I like to watch don't perseverate on a, on a few people that might post a negative comment or or the you know you'll probably have far more likes than you will people that that click that they don't like your video don't focus on those two or three people that have you know have, have, have clicked down on your video I don't think that's that's uh, that productive um, your channel will begin to steamroll um, the more videos and subscriptions the better right so if you're looking at, at a, a new channel and it only has one or two videos and the channel hasn't been active in a few weeks or only has like one or two people that watch and subscribe you're probably less likely to subscribe to that channel so the as you continue to grow you can pretty much expect to see some sort of regular growth uh, month after month or hopefully uh, the largest channels they're gonna get you know I, I've, I've heard them mention that they probably get 20 to 30 subscribers a day um, you know, frankly, I'm very happy with that every month. Um, the bottom line, if you create regular content, people will, uh, will remain interested and uh, your views and such will increase. So, but also understand that some months are, are better. Uh, December was a very good month for me, um, but I would say December was a very good month for uh, every channel I looked at. Uh, almost all of them uh, had a pretty substantial increase. Um, and that's just because you know a lot of people are are free during the holidays to watch videos so there, there's certain probably times of the year where, where you're gonna do better than others but above all stay positive and uh, enjoy what you're doing and I would say finally on this side is learn by doing as you make videos you're gonna learn to to uh, you know how to improve um, uh, my earlier videos the audio wasn't that great but people commented and you make changes um, I just posted a, a PowerPoint video on on the word a demon just like an hour ago or so and uh, my wife mentioned that uh, you know I probably should have used like a little bit larger font so some of the pictures were a little bit too small things like that um, and so next time I do it uh, I'll do it better and that's uh, the other thing you just kind of you know Practical experience is obviously the most important thing. You can kind of have as many notes and, and go into if, if as many things down, but the minute you start producing content and learning, I mean, I didn't know much about like how to make videos in terms of um, video editing or, or, you know, to be honest, I didn't know much about YouTube uh, to begin with at all. So, but you, you know, you, you, you learn by, by doing. So uh, now we're on to the technical side of things, and I would say these are a little bit less important. Uh, they're still valuable and essential for success, but I would consider relationships you gain to be far more valuable because you're not here to make money. So building uh, building those those bridges and making people happy and uh, making new friends is really where uh, where I would say the best part of, of being a Warhammer YouTuber really comes from. It's certainly um, really encouraging, if nothing else, when you're painting and things like that. So what do you call your channel? Now, this is kind of a minor note. Most 
of the channels don't call themselves by their their legal name some do uh, I think if they do so it's because they think it will either be uh, a positive um, for them like it, it will help them in their career uh, to in some capacity or at the very least it certainly won't hurt them uh, in, in terms of their online presence for me myself it probably shouldn't come as a surprise that my name is not Hooves of Doom. Um, but whether or not you decide to come up with some f funky channel name, you know, there are just some practical considerations and reasons why so many channels do decide to come up with a, a unique name. And for me, it's because I also want to produce professional content on uh, my other accounts. And I don't want people looking, uh, Googling or whatnot for me and finding multiple videos on, you know, painting models and on history and, and, and Latin. That just doesn't really work. So that's why I do that. And you might want to consider that as well. Um, I would say look for an, a niche. Um, this is important but not vital. To be honest, it's something that I'm still developing. And when you first begin, it's perfectly fine to just produce the type of content that many others produce. I mean, again, by watching other people's videos, you're going to explore, um, you might, uh, you might um, watch a t particular video that you like and you just want to produce one like that yourself. That's perfectly fine. What I would say is one of the most important things to increase views and uh, when you increase views, you also increase the amount of subs of subscribers to your channel is to respond to trends this is a bit um, a bit uh, prickly um, and it's usually most kind of somewhat controversial because because trends are generally controversial but if you pick the right times to make certain videos or you respond to those trends that will help you out a lot so hot topics generate more views whether so if you want to make a video about whether or not Games Workshop is doing well uh, as a business, now is a good time to do it, right? Because they, they just released their, their information. People are looking for that. If you made it a month ago or a month from now, you'll still get views, but not as much. Um, I launched my channel right when, it just, uh, right when AOS first launched, and I think that probably helped, right? My first few videos have relatively high view counts compared to a lot of my others. Uh, I just recently put out a video on the Ninth Age and Age of Sigmar. Ninth Age is kind of a hot topic. People are looking for it. Um, that happens to have the most amount of views of all my videos. And so those types of controversial topics or, 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 or ones that are currently being uh, talked about, right? If you want to talk about the, the, the new releases of Dwarves, you're going to do it now. You're not going to do it, you know, three weeks from now. So prepare in advance is something that I do. Um, some content producers make their videos on the fly with very little prep. Most of the time I do prepare in advance. I make, um, I write things down in scripts. Um, I don't always, you know, go with them 100%, but it does stop me from, you know, going completely off and rambling. Uh, to to a certain extent <laughs> um, but I, you know for me I plan one night or so a week maybe two nights in which I just make videos um, this is a very personal choice um, it's just something that I feel comfortable doing um, I don't like to, to to not do it prepared if I want to talk about a certain topic I want to hit all the points I want to hit and I would also say stay on topic um, and what I mean by that is don't don't put a variety of different um, of different topics onto your video. I mean, Warhammer is a very broad uh, and a very broad kind of area, and you can definitely make plenty of different variety of videos with it with that are Warhammer related. But what I mean is, you don't want to put up a couple videos of kittens and puppies, and uh, I don't know your latest video on Britney Spears up alongside. Uh, all the other Warhammer ones, right? So that's probably good advice. Uh, the other thing I would say is learn to use the analytics in YouTube. Um, it's really fun. I think it is at least. Doom and Darkness just made a good video that kind of looked over his analytics. 
it's just it, it's good to know um, you know how many subscribers you're gaining or losing and you you will lose subscribers again uh, stay positive um, because most of the time you're, you're gonna gain a lot more than you lose um, but just it's nice to kind of uh, take a look to see how many likes how many views um, you know you learn how the system works right so if you want a ton of views you make a ton of really videos that are nice and short and sweet um, and that will increase kind of like your uh, the amount of the amount of viewers that watch through an entire video as opposed to like a super long video but a super long video is going to increase the amount of watch time so it's just you you just learn how how the system works uh, label your content uh, when you post a video you have an opportunity to post a bunch of words that that are connected to your video just for me I blanket that that box with like a you know a dozen or so different words uh, and you know I might be making a video on Warhammer Fantasy I put a bunch of other Warhammer keywords in there for 40k why not right <laughs> um, and label the video appropriately so that they know what to expect um, in that side you can also make playlists this is important um, it just keeps your channel kind of organized um, into different into different categories also it will increase your amount of views because if you have a playlist and someone watches through a video when that video is finished it will immediately start the next one as opposed to going to a completely different channel or a completely different video um, here's what I would say if you really are into it a lot of channels make you know an introduction flash and visuals mine's very basic it doesn't take any time to make at all um, if you're doing PowerPoint oh geez man I, I, <laughs> this is what I wrote if you do PowerPoint use images and not simply text so I, I guess I'm kind of blowing it in this video um, <laughs> uh, use uh, a degree of, of interesting music there's lots of free music these are just kind of icing on the cake you don't have to do any of this stuff lots of really good channels don't do an intro or anything uh, but a lot of the bigger channels do, and uh, I think intros are nice. Um, yeah, next part. And the final slide. All right, so uh, video editing software. Um, you almost need to have some sort of editing software to increase the audio, um, maybe enhance some, some pictures you, if you want to do like an intro and things like that. Again, you learn by doing it. This is something I had no experience with, and um, you know, again, I would not claim that my videos are, are amazing in this category. These are a lot of a lot of areas where I could definitely improve upon, and uh, so that's one one aspect. You can use a lot of programs that are free. Um, I use iMovie; it's, it's pretty simple, and it's free. Um, equipment, cameras. Uh, I have like a you know my my webcam on my MacBook is my go-to video <laughs> uh, camera. Uh, I have another camera that uh, if I want to take a, a pictures of models with and stuff like that, I use that. Um, you know, if I had like a, a really nice uh, iPhone or something, maybe maybe that would be just as good. These are really expensive, right? I, I've looked at doing like a high a high definition camcorder or something like that. And they're really expensive. Um, might be something I do eventually. Again, it's not not necessary by any means. Um, it is kind of useful for doing battle reports, and you don't want to just do like a slideshow. You want to do live live videos. They're almost essential. Um, I I have like my little camera can do video, but it's not really high definition, so I don't I don't bother. So again, these are all areas that I would uh, myself improve upon in the future uh, focus more on building bridges first and um, uh, really interacting with the community and, and helping it grow and as the community grows it will help you grow and so I hope you know some of this was uh, reasonably uh, useful and uh, you know somewhat entertaining um, and thank you for watching